My lab studies circadian rhythms and sleep, primarily using fruit flies, but we've also branched out into studying us human beings. Everybody knows intuitively about the importance of the circadian rhythm. When there's the time change twice a year, we all notice that. But there's also abundant epidemiological evidence that disruptions in the circadian rhythm can influence your risk of heart disease, of neurodegeneration, of diabetes, all sorts of things. But the links between the circadian rhythm and those health outcomes really aren't fully understood. You can't treat a circadian rhythm problem unless you know you have a circadian rhythm problem. And at least in the current technology, we don't have a way of doing that. And so that was my challenge. Can we come up with a diagnostic test that will tell you something about your circadian clock? So in order to do this, we used subjects who were recruited and brought into a study through Phyllis Z's laboratory. They were there for several days and the sampling took place over about 27 hours, every two hours, a blood draw. And so the idea was, if you take a blood sample in the morning, then those genes that go up and down but are high in the morning will be high, and those that go up and down but peak in the evening, those will be low. And if I take a sample in the evening from the same person, then those evening genes are high and the morning genes are low. The signal that we were interested in detecting was periodic. And what we did was develop a way to exploit that property in order to make a machine learning algorithm that was more accurate for this purpose than other machine learning algorithms were. Really what we've done here was be able to develop a test that allows us to tell the biological time within a given individual. In our case, we used two blood samples to do it. We're pretty excited about the success of that interdisciplinary collaboration and also the potential for doing this for a lot of other problems.